I'm holding rest, I can't hold it anymore. Go on the down, don't mind me, don't mind me, go on the down, don't right. down the right, don't right. And the down is right. Well done, 10. The commander out the dumps. Left, 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 Transfer, 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 transfer. 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 Transfer, transfer, transf
Okay, where's the three, two, one? Where's the fuck them? Fuck them! Okay, what, 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 Dash one, dash one, chance, chance, I can't trust you, I cannot. Why is he fine? Leave pin left, 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 left. Cleave on the left, cleave on the left, stay close. Okay, we're gonna crash with, with the wells in three. No, 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 wait. Keep cities, guys, keep cities, keep cities, keep cities. Yeah. My trust is ready, close, close, close. 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 Where's left in three, two, one. Where's left, where's, where's, where's damage, 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 Oh my gosh. Why is it not working? Is this the blues around or something? Fucking skill lag, man. Very good job, very good job, very good job. So laggy. You want to push, you want to push. F3, 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 F
Um, but yeah, it offers really moderate healing. It isn't a heal class, so don't think it's a you're going to heal people and, and, and keep them alive. The heals are basically very, very small. But yeah, this is boon support that we were playing today um, with some offensive capabilities with CC. Um, you have Firebrand Tome 1, Tome of Justice, which will enable you to pull enemies from range. Um, but you don't pull them towards you, you just pull them like down towards the ground. So you kind of it's kind of like a CC in, in place. And you have a line of warding as well. And you have a shield five. If you if you can use that to knock enemies away from the main stack, it can be it can be pretty good, but it's kind of hard to do. Weapons, I think maybe you could play hammer with this build instead of staff. When you're not doing anything, and you're you know buying time, maybe you're getting ready to use your mantras and stuff. I, I don't know, maybe Hammer could be played. Maybe I need to test that. Maybe Staff isn't the play, but I mean, when the well Bomb is called, I can drop a line of warding. With Hammer, I don't know if I'll, I'll get value from it, but you could play Hammer with this build instead of Staff. I think Mace Shield, you have to you have to play Mace Shield, 100%. I wouldn't drop Mace Shield. Um, but its strength is in is in Burst Cleanse. Has a has pretty good Burst Cleanse. When you go into F2 time, you can remove three Condies. Very strong. This one... Conditions converted to boons, five. Very good. Two removes two conditions. They changed this one recently, and it does healing as well. So you can probably just use those three pages and and ditch and ditch the water field. The pulse healing is okay as well, though. But this one has more boons, so more boons is good. So I guess you just... If you're stationary, maybe the pulse healing is good. If you want burst healing, this one's better. And it has boons, so I guess you just need to think about like what you're doing. Every third tome skill grants you one page. So just remember that. So I tend to use three pages in a, in a book. I don't ever use more than one page in F1. I usually just use this one. If you see me using more than that, I'm, tro I'm trolling. But I use the pull in F1 occasionally. I'll definitely do that. But yeah, F1 is your offensive tome. F2 is your defensive for your, for your heals and for cleanse. You can just go into F2... And just take advantage of the trait which removes three conditions. And then just drop it again. You don't need to use any pages. When equipping a, a virtue grants you quickness. That's really, really good if you want to get, get stuff done faster. Um, if you were using Signet of Mercy, then you could open up a book while bannering and get quickness on it. Or you can just use your heal skill if it's not on cooldown. Which might be the case. Could be the case. Maybe. Tome of Courage, your F3 with virtues. It's going to be a stun break, 600 radius with stability. You've got to rotate that. Don't overlap it with your stand your ground and your hollowed. You want to you want to basically rotate those three skills. Hollowed ground is like pulsing stab, so it's really good in this meta, especially when you're finishing downs or you're just standing still and very close to the enemy because you don't want to get pulled. So yeah, ten pulses with the trait because of the consecrations trait. Your elites, your stun break, also cover boons. Radius is only 180. The range is 450. It's a cone. Most of the mantras are cones, so you'll see it when you use it. You see, like, the the cone effect. So you have to face towards your allies. You want to do that. You know, peel for your tail and stuff. Yeah, this build's good, boys. If you're still playing Firebrand support, then GG's, you're carrying. But yeah, usually you only go into F2 tone when your your secondary support is struggling. If you see your party, like, having a lot of condies on them for a, for a decent amount of time. Um, and if you see people are mobbed, then I would just support the, the secondary support, honestly. I would help them and go into the book and then close it again. And if, if that wasn't good enough, then, then I, I'll maybe use a couple of pages to cleanse as well. But yeah, just use party UI as usual. You can see party UI and, and you'll see the condies on your party. Use thick health bars. It's the same as normal. Um, F3, when you go into this, you want to use 5 for the toughness, Aegis, protection, and one stack of stab. But you may go into it and then in, and instantly press 4 and then 5 because the cast time on that is kind of long even with quickness, and you might want to instantly just get resistance for your team, because it's a situation where people can get immobilized and stuff, and you just want to get that down. And that's that's pulsing. So it's big. You use two pages in this, and then you've got a third page to use. Protection on auto is very, very good. Resolution's okay. But not, not really, not really, to be honest. The taunt's not worth it. Three reflect can be okay as well, if you think that's going to be bigger value. You could maybe be rezzing, hand rezzing, and you go to rez it down. You put the put this up as you rez. It can buy some time, and people might not take as much pressure from projectiles. So that can be a, a pretty good play. But there's a lot of unblockable shit in the game. So it's not always guaranteed that it will pop off. 
but you can use it. But yeah, four, five, and and one, or five, four, and one is is pretty good. Or instead of one, press three. I don't think it matters too much. There's no specific order, right? You just you got to play it how you think is is more optimal. But yeah, you want to rotate stab with like your other your other people in your party, i.e. heal Vindy. Heal Vindy's usually going to give stab first. They're using the elite and the empowered version of it, so it's best for them to do it this way around. And they can then prioritize dodging, and they can use the the tablet, the Ventari tablet, while dodging, and they can instant cast, cleanse, and heal, and and yeah, and just gain. Usually, you start with that, so. Once you have that, like, you knowledge that you're going to get that extra stab and resistance to start from your Vindy, you can just prioritize basically starting the fight by giving giving boons. And what, what I mean is basically you give advance and you put Hollowed back in. So you've got Swiftness and Aegis for your party. That's going to run out after, like, 35 seconds or something. So you can pump that out. But yeah, you've got to rotate stab and resistance. Your aim is to try and keep the stability up all the time and cover it with other boons. So you want the boon to be, like, over here. So you want it to be covered. And if it's blinking, you kind of want to get that stab back up if, if possible. If you can't get that stab back up, you don't have stab ready, then next time you press stab, it's going to be here. And sometimes boons get ripped first off. And with boon duration, once you get all of those bounty stacks on this build with the sigil, you're going to get 100% boon duration. But yeah, reboon when you see your party getting stripped. So when you see your party having no boons, you want to reboon. That's really important. Yeah, and remember st that stand your ground is not a stun break for your team. It's only for your yourself. Okay, so like I said, F three and your elite is stun breaks. Read the read the tall tips and and know what they do and how to use them. I explained earlier, but yeah, six hundred radius around you, stun break. Cone face towards the the player that you wanna you wanna support. Like so. So you, have, so, you have a blast on F1-2 and a blast on Staff-2. Oh, there you go, boys. 25 might. Honestly, that is pretty good. By the time you finish empowering, you've got all the pages. Takes a bit of time, though, to do. I mean, you could just empower, press this, and then press 5. It depends on your commander. If your commander's like going towards, then kiting away, you ain't going to be doing any of this because you're, st you're standing still, right? You're going to be following tag as your priority. And then what happens if you want to start stacking and then your commander's just pushing? Yeah, obviously you can't pre-stack might then. So I definitely, I would say it's fine, the page cost-wise. Not an issue. It's just you're standing still for a long time. It's got 22, and then it goes down to 18. It does drop off pretty quickly, though. You don't really want to use your last charges of your mantras, by the way. They go on a fucking long cooldown, boys. As you can see here, it's not good. That you do not want to use the last charge of your mantra. If you know the fight's nearly over and you just want to finish the fight, then go for it. At the end of the fight, just go for it. It's like UFC, when they're both fucking standing next to each other and they're just throwing down, do you know what I mean? Max Holloway versus Justin Gaethje and they're just throwing punches and, it's, and the buzz is about to go. And it's about to be like two seconds, one second. Yeah, just do it. Go for it. There's many occasions where I've done that, but ideally you don't use the last charge. Some of them are strong as fuck, though. Like, protection and resolution on that one. The last charge. Might and quickness on that one. And this one gives you resolution, swiftness, and, and a bunch of stab. Like, five stacks. It's pretty good. But, definitely use it at the end of the fight. Don't use all the last charges in during the fight. Dodgy, you have a little bit of, a little bit of heals. And you have energy sigil, so a little little trick as well is if you know you've got energy sigil on your staff and you've got mason shield out, you can dodge for heal and then swap to staff and you'll have another dodge ready. I probably wouldn't use your last dodge. But yeah, there is times where you don't even need to dodge. So you, you shouldn't be like spamming dodge anyway. There's other stuff you'll be doing. You'll be locked into other animations. But, um, but there we go. And obviously, energy sigil, if you need more dodges, is great for yourself for survivability. If you don't want to just passively heal um, your team, but maybe you just want to dodge. We're using the usual Virtues Honor Firebrand. Nothing's changed, really, with, when it comes to traits. Really hasn't changed. Um, we're running the Quickness Mantra in Firebrand, but you could run bottom if you're lacking protection in your party and you want a bit more regen and might. You could do that. Um, but everything else is in stone. I wouldn't change. Extra vitality and, and increased healing power. Outgoing is very, very good. Like You can't not run 
these traits. Could maybe get rid of this trait and play the the res trait. You lose the, the, the healing buff, lose the mace skills, reduced cooldown, but you gain a knockback, a heal, a light field, and it, a revive percentage of 3% on cast. And then the shield pops and it'll stop projectiles, which can be good. Like I said before, when you use F3-3 for the reflect projectile hate, you can also do that passively from just effing the down. F, F is basically the interact skill for, for resing, right? Unless you rebinded it. So, yeah, but it, yeah, it's, it's only lasting three seconds. It's a light field. It's 300 radius. It's not massive. But if, if skills aren't working and you're finding hand resing is, is happening, maybe you want to support it with hand res and you just want to pop, pop it once to buy some time and stop the, the projectile damage coming through. It could be, could be pretty good. Everything else is, is pretty much as it is. I don't think you would play anything else. Not with the nerfs to, to stability. And we're seeing more Renegades being played, so more strips are coming out. I told you guys it would be meta, and Renegade is meta. Everyone's running it now. There's more strips coming out now. People stacking it. With the nerf to Alacrity as well. It's it's the Alac source, it's the, it's the strip source. Chrono's still very good, so quick miss on Chrono just allows Rennies to perform so good. And with Stab Roads on Renny, they nerfed Stab, they nerfed Alac, they nerfed Strips. Rennie just is just coming back into the mix. So you need more Stab, guys. You definitely need this. Can you do us all a favor and stop dying? But yeah, rebooting, overloaded with Condies. You just got to know when to go into your books, boys. It's pretty, it's pretty basic stuff. Your weapon skills, you can like hover over and see what they're doing, but it's pretty, it's pretty obvious when you read it. Auto attack on Mace, if you're on like a situation where you're cleaving and you've got nothing else to do you could auto attack and get some heals on the third hit the third chain of the auto so that's pretty good um two is very long cast time i would just use this a reboot situation it's like not a priority skill but it's like a filler skill your priority skills on is this 100 percent protection aegis very very good um protection aegis very very good shield detonate for heal or hold it for projectile hate. Very good. Those are your priorities. Three, four, and five. And then two is kind of whatever. If nothing's happening, you don't use these. And you can obviously put two, two down. Hover over the skills. Read them, boys and girls. If your party's needing more stab. And you're really struggling with stability in your party. There was an occasion today where I was thinking I would, I would change a trait line. And you could change honor. You swap in valor. And you take this trait here, Tenacious Defense. Then you take, instead of the, the, the Quickness one, you take the, the, Aegis mantra, uh, the Aegis Shout called Advance. And every time you basically give Aegis, it reduces the cooldown of your F3 when it blocks an attack. And you can give this to multiple people, right? So this is really strong. People are running this on DH support, this trait line. Yeah, you're going to lose Quickness, a little bit of Quickness. Obviously, you can still have this, but that's like only two seconds with boon duration maxed out so you're gonna lose quickness but you're gonna gain f3 cooldown reduction which could be could be pretty big but you would probably either pick this one another source of ages for your teammates and then obviously he's gonna synergize with this i don't know these are all like this is meh you also get ages here gain protection when you block an incoming attack so you're gonna get access to more protection so that's really good if you need more prop personally um and then you get more might as well but that's that's minor but yeah, that's another way of, of playing this build. Um, you will lose the vitality from honor. As you can see here, this trait gives you increased vitality. So if we take it off. You do lose a lot of a lot of vitality. So you might want to try and bring that back with something else if you, if you want to. You, you might go for leadership runes or something. Yeah, altruism has some vitality. That's boon duration and healing. So you could go for that. Radiance another good option that could be the play if you feel like you're a bit too squishy but yeah this is the build i'll put it on the discord i didn't make a fully support firebrand build on the discord but we played it today the classic build it's still very good i was still carrying my team i could have played better for sure but it's super laggy today so there's only only so much you can do with firebrand if you can't open your books and press your skills but yeah maybe it's time to maybe it's time to play uh, another class boys i've been playing guardian for like a week now it's time to change, I think. But yeah, if your team is really needing a support, boys, Firebrand's still very, very good.